The accelerometer is an incredibly flexible and intuitive way for your user to interact with your game. The accelerometer reports the phone's acceleration in meters per second squared. So if the phone is stationary, the only acceleration it's experiencing is the acceleration due to gravity, which is equal to about 9.8 meters per second squared. Does this sound at all familiar from physics class? Now, regardless of the orientation used by your game, the accelerometer data is reported as though the phone is in portrait orientation, with the positive z-axis coming out of the screen. That means if the z-axis of the accelerometer is reading about 9.8, the phone is flat on its back. If the z-axis is reading negative 9.8, then the phone is resting on its face. If the y-axis reads 9.8, then the phone is upright in the portrait orientation. Note we've tilted the phone a little bit, and now the y-axis is reading positive. If we tilt the phone this way a little bit, now the x-axis is reading positive. LibGDX allows you to pull for accelerometer readings using GDX input get accelerometer x, y, and z. We can compute the total acceleration using the good old Pythagorean theorem. Down here we're drawing those red bars you saw, and this is actually the horizontal bar. Notice that the x position of the end of that bar is being determined by the negative y-axis. That's because we're looking at this game in landscape mode, and all of the accelerometer readings are reported as though the phone was in portrait mode. Here is the vertical line, and the end of that line is determined by the positive x-axis. You'll get a hold of this quickly enough, but if everything is sliding sideways in your game, this is probably why.